This is In Focus, a media arts and leadership program for youth. Today, you will hear part one of a two-part series podcast about the potential North Minneapolis Greenway. This podcast was created by youth for other youth and the broader community. Enjoy. Welcome to this talk show where we're going to have. Um, I will be your host. My name is Bonzi. We're going to be talking about this Greenway project for North Minneapolis. And uh, in a bit, I will tell you guys more about what this Greenway project is and uh, who is it going to affect and basically more information. I want the listeners to know what our, who our guests are. So if you guys can introduce your name and mention like a place where you live or like a, a landmark that you live by. All right. Uh, well, I'm Tang, and I'm a resident of North Minneapolis, and I live right around North Commons Park. Okay. Um, my name is Vaughn. I'm resident in North Minneapolis, around North Commons also. And my name is Za. I am a rising senior in North. Um, I live in North Minneapolis, too. Well, the city of Minneapolis, they are thinking about converting like low-traffic streets uh, to make it into a greenway uh, in North Minneapolis. Do you guys know what a greenway is? Yeah, somewhat. Somewhat, okay. Uh, I've well, been on one before, so. You've been on one, all right, fine. Heard of it. Uh, just to define a uh, greenway so that we all can get be on the same page. A uh, greenway is a park-like trail that people can use for biking and walking uh, or for transportation and recreation. So um, express our community out more by having art designs out there uh, having new recreations, um, not just for individuals, but for families as well, and just to make the north side of Minneapolis to be safe. <laughs> so the city of Minneapolis, they're thinking about creating a greenway trail that starts from uh, 44th Avenue North, and it should follow through uh, the street of Humboldt, and it would stretch all the way down to the south side of Plymouth ever North or maybe even farther. What do you guys think about that? Uh, I think I like this idea of a greenway. Um, one thing I would say about it is how well utilized it will be because mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. when somebody takes this trail they want this to go somewhere where they want to go so like having other roads or having this trail placed in a location that it's central where it stems off and branches off to other trails so you can go take this trail and branch off to another place mm -hmm. where you might go I think that would make it better so I don't know what exactly what the map looks like of this route but having it be centralized and be able to branch off to other trails so you can access other places would be great what do you guys think about the Greenway Trail I mean just having it from one street um, that goes from 44th and it goes all the way down to maybe Plymouth Avenue north or maybe even down south. It could benefit if, if the layout is the other branch that you can attach to. Um, if it does, that would be great, but if it's just one direction, one way, I feel like it will cross over many difficulties between the community and the seasons. Cause if it's only one way, for example, if it's just for a bike and a lane, for a person to walk in during winter. I don't think really people want to walk it unless if they're going to the bus stop or going to school, nobody would yeah. really walk in below zero on that whole lane. So it would be like really, and winter is like a longest season over here too. What do you think about the Greenway Trail? For me, I like the idea of a Greenway in North Minneapolis, but because I don't live on the streets that the Greenway is going to be placed on, I would like it, but then if you think about the people on the street, what they place in the Greenway, um, yeah. I don't know if they would like it so much that because that would kind of take away their parking space and you know do a lot of things to the front yard or backyard. So I don't know how personally those people will feel. And as for the community, I don't know because you know everybody is so different. So they might or might not use it, but I personally, I, if the city of Minneapolis would to create one, I would use it. And um, like he said, the thing about um, the seasons changing too. So in the winters, you know, nobody, not that many people um, will go biking and it will be pretty icy and it will be 
kind of, it would be, so it would just be like an empty space there mm -hmm. in uh, the city. If we're talking about Greenway, there are four possible Greenway um, structures. One, it could just be streets or the road will be not road anymore. It would just be a smaller road for bikes. So that's one. It's called a full linear park Greenway. So it's just uh, bikes and pedestrians walking. So there won't be any cars. Uh, the second one is, will be a half and half one way. Uh, it's a half and half, which there would be one, uh, one road for the cars and they'll be driving one in one direction, while the other side will be used for you know, pedestrians and bikers to use. So that's the second option. The third option is an, another half and half, but uh, instead it would be a two-way for the cars. If we're talking about greenways, I'm, I'm not just talking about like just having like a, a trail just for bikers and pedestrians, but we are trying, the project is trying to be flexible with the options that like, they can include cars and pedestrians and bikers. Just like uh, the streets that we have right now, there's a fourth option called the Bike Boulevard, where there's a, a road that's uh, shared between bikers and cars. And so if I can have your opinion, which one of these uh, options uh, do you think will be better for our community? Well, for me, personally, I, I would go with the full linear greenway, but being more mindful towards people with cars, I think we would still need that the street for other people to drive on. Yeah. So, in my opinion, I like the half and half one way greenway okay. because that one not only allows cars to still go on there, but it also allows for parking, mm -hmm. which makes it more accessible to you know homeowners who live by the street, so they can still park in front of their house. Okay. So, well, what about you guys? That's um. That's a really brilliant, good question to ask. Throughout all those four, you know, there is the benefit than not. Um, but I mean, I really will have to cross out the one with the just the bikers and the pedestrians mm -hmm. because it's based on the season that we have and based on how efficient we can use it during every yeah. day of news. And if I have to choose, it will be either one or three of those as as long as I can see like for the homeowners, I think says they're able to go by their house or park by their house or if cars are able to go down instead of just cutting through and have to go to round, go around the whole other block just to make another trip because mm -hmm. they can't go on uh, that one one way lane. So I feel like this is a two way lane. So if half half two way greenway, well, best fit. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Well, taking all of those into consideration, the seasons, the uh, people on the streets, and the usability and all of those. Mm -hmm. I would personally like the full linear park greenway because yes, it's true that the season could be changing and there could be winter, but just imagine the street being like filled with snow and then there's like light and you can just take a walk there if you want to. I think that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. And even though you cannot bike in the winter, you can still take a walk there and that would still be um, a pretty good form of exercising because you know, in the winter, you probably not gonna do a lot of walking, so or bike, or other um, physical activity. So that'd be a pretty good uh, form of exercise. But then the other reason is with the um, full linear greenway. What you could do is you could have like art pieces on, I guess, you, well, on the greenway. So um, and since the city is gonna create um, a greenway anyways, they might as well go through the full potentials of it and create like a totally different street that's just for bikings and stuff. And I think that would be much better than doing uh, other like doing combinations of cars and bikes all right well thanks you guys for being here today thank you listeners for listening to our conversation if you guys have any more questions call this number 612-763-3987 the person you're trying to contact to is sarah stewart thank you for your time and your conversation and you guys are really great Thank you for listening to our focus group discussion. This program has been brought to you by the City of Minneapolis, Hmong American Partnership, HANA, Media and Development, the Dyer Group, Metropolitan Regional Arts Council, and the Minnesota Legacy Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.